Guten Abend allerseits und herzlich willkommen im Krönungssaal des Historischen Rathauses zu Aachen. Good evening, everyone. I'm delighted that you have joined us tonight for the opening of Aachen AI Week, a truly unique series of events organized by the AI Center of RWTH Aachen University. I am Holger Hoos, Alexander von Humboldt Professor of AI here at RWTH Aachen, and together with my colleagues from the Board of Directors of the AI Center, I will guide you through tonight's program. Since our audience includes international guests as well as citizens of Aachen, parts of our event will be presented in English and other parts in German, with AI-generated subtitles provided on the screens here in front in the other language. While this may not be perfect, I hope you will find it not merely amusing, but also somewhat useful. This is a very special place. In this hall, a long succession of kings and emperors have celebrated their coronation with great feasts. It is also the place where, since 1950, the International Charlemagne Prize of Aachen is awarded, most recently in May 2023, to Volodymyr Zelensky and the Ukrainian people. It's almost as if the spirit of Charlemagne were here amongst us. What's this? What's happening? Oh, it's Charles Petit, Karl der Kleine. But is it really you? How can I know you're real? Ah, I see. Four fingers, not five. And he has the clankers, must be the real one. Aachen is famous for its thermal springs, its cathedral, Charlemagne, the Charlemagne Prize, the Christmas market, the Chio, and of course, and of course, come on, Karl, what else is Aachen famous for? There we go. That was impressive. I wish I could do this. That somehow doesn't work. But hang on for a moment. I can sense something. Let, let me check. Can you check there underneath your chair? Can you check? Yeah. yeah. But, but what is this? It's very small, but very clearly it's Printen. That's brilliant. And I have a feeling this may not be the only chair in this hall underneath which you might find Real Aachener Printen. That's pretty cool. Okay, that was neither AI magic nor my magic, but almost certainly Carl's doing. Thanks, Carl. Once again, on behalf of RWTH Aachen University and its AI Center, and Carl der Kleine, of course. I welcome you all, and I hope you will thoroughly enjoy our program tonight and throughout the week. Each and every day this week, there will be AI events happening here in Aachen. I'm quite sure that some of what we've planned is going to amaze and delight you. And hey, Carl, thanks for being here with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, we are delighted to have received a message from the head of state and government of North Rhine-Westphalia, Minister President Hendrik Wüst. Staatssekretärin, Frau Oberbürgermeisterin, Herr Nettekofen, Herr Professor Rüdiger, verehrte Gäste aus Belgien und den Niederlanden, meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren. Ich grüße Sie alle herzlich zur KI-Woche an der RWTH Aachen. Künstliche Intelligenz, vor einiger Zeit klang das für die meisten noch nach Utopie und Science Fiction nach Star Wars oder Terminator. Vor der Jahrhundertwende hätten viele das Kürzel KI bei uns in Nordrhein-Westfalen mit Kohle und Industrie übersetzt. 
Als dann aber erstmals ein Computer gegen den damaligen Schachweltmeister gewonnen hat, war das eine Sensation. Das war 1997, also vor nicht einmal 30 Jahren. Hier im Dreiländereck wird in den kommenden Wochen deutlich, schon weil KI bisherige technologischen Grenzen durchbricht, muss KI grenzüberschreitend erforscht, entwickelt und genutzt werden. Für eine Woche wird Aachen zum Schaufenster für KI-Exzellenz. In der Region, in Nordrhein-Westfalen, in Deutschland und in ganz Europa. Ziel der KI-Woche Aachen ist es, das Bewusstsein für die Bedeutung von KI zu schärfen und den Dialog zwischen verschiedenen Akteuren zu fördern. Dieser Satz stammt nicht von mir, sondern von ChatGPT. Das war die Antwort auf meine Frage, was ist die KI-Woche in Aachen? Das war die Antwort von ChatGPT. Seine Möglichkeiten und Fähigkeiten sind faszinierend, aber als Konkurrenz oder sogar als Ersatz menschlicher Intelligenz gibt es natürlich auch Risiken und Nebenwirkungen. Wir müssen also die Chancen von KI maximieren und seine Risiken minimieren. Das gelingt nur im intensiven Austausch zwischen allen Akteuren aus Forschung, aus Industrie und Gesellschaft. Und genau der findet hier in Aachen statt. Aachen ist schon heute einer der wichtigsten KI-Standorte in Nordrhein-Westfalen. Die KI-Woche wird das ein weiteres Mal eindrucksvoll zeigen. Ihnen allen wünsche ich inspirierende und spannende Tage hier bei uns in Nordrhein-Westfalen in Aachen. It is now my great pleasure to welcome to the stage Ms. Gonka Türkeli Denert, Secretary of State of, uh, at the Ministry of Culture and Science of North Rhine-Westphalia. Sehr geehrte Frau Staatssekretärin Türkeli Denert, es ist uns eine Ehre, Sie heute als Vertreterin der Landesregierung persönlich zu Gast bei uns zu haben. Das Wort gehört Ihnen. Sehr geehrte Frau Oberbürgermeisterin, sehr geehrter Herr Professor Rüdiger, sehr geehrter Herr Nettekofen, sehr geehrter Herr Professor Sell, sehr geehrte Frau Professorin Lennartz, sehr geehrte Direktorin der KI-Center der RWTH Aachen, der TU Eindhoven und der Universität Löwen. Ich freue mich sehr, als Vertreterin der Landesregierung Nordrhein-Westfalen heute persönlich hier in Aachen zu sein und mit Ihnen den Auftakt der KI-Woche feiern zu können. Unser Ministerpräsident Henrik Wüst hat es in seiner Videobotschaft gerade schon betont. KI ist eine der Schlüsseltechnologien unserer Zeit. Sie bringt ein extrem hohes Innovationspotenzial und es liegt an uns, die Chancen dieser Technologie in Gesellschaft, Wirtschaft, Wissenschaft und Politik zu nutzen. Deshalb fördern wir als Landesregierung schon lange und sehr erfolgreich KI Made in NRW und legen dabei einen Fokus auf drei konkrete Schwerpunktfelder. Exzellenz in Forschung und Bildung, Erfolg in der Wirtschaft und Ethik in der Umsetzung. Insbesondere der letzte Aspekt, also die Entwicklung einer vertrauenswürdigen und transparenten KI ist uns als Landesregierung wichtig, denn die rasante technische Entwicklung braucht ein ethisches Korrektiv, damit sie einer demokratischen Gesellschaft auf Dauer von Nutzen ist. Die Ausrichtung an europäischen Werten zeichnet KI-Forschung in Europa, gerade im Vergleich zu anderen Regionen der Welt und den großen Tech-Konzernen ganz besonders aus. Deshalb bildet eine Trustworthy AI auch auf EU-Ebene die oberste Prämisse in der KI-Forschung und Anwendung. Meine Damen und Herren, Nordrhein-Westfalen ist ein Hotspot der KI-Forschung und ist geprägt durch eine hohe Dichte an exzellenten Forschungsstandorten. Aachen ist neben dem Lamar-Institut als einem der bundesweiten KI-Kompetenzzentren und dem Forschungsnetzwerk SAIL das an den Universitäten Bielefeld und Paderborn verankert ist, ein bedeutender KI-Standort in Nordrhein-Westfalen. Nicht ohne Grund forschen hier gleich vier Alexander von Humboldt-Professorinnen und Professoren im Bereich KI, die weltweit zu den Pionieren in ihrem Fachgebieten zählen. Aber viele Themen sind so komplex und umfassend, dass sie durch einen Standort allein nicht bearbeitet werden können. 
Um die bestmöglichen Synergieeffekte für Nordrhein-Westfalen zu erreichen, sind Vernetzung und Kooperation unerlässlich. Dass Zusammenarbeit sich auszahlt, das zeigt auch Ihr jüngster Erfolg als WestAI-Konsortium, um ein BMBF gefördertes KI-Servicezentrum gemeinsam mit dem Lamar-Institut, dem Forschungszentrum Jülich und dem Standort Paderborn. Hier werden die großen Rechenkapazitäten der RWTH Aachen und des Forschungszentrums Jülich mit den KI-Kompetenzen des Lamar-Instituts und der Universität Paderborn vereint, um Nutzerinnen und Nutzern aus Wissenschaft und Wirtschaft leichteren Zugang zu Recheninfrastruktur und KI-Expertise zu ermöglichen. Neben der Vernetzung der KI-Standorte in Nordrhein-Westfalen und Deutschland möchten wir auch die Zusammenarbeit in europäischen Netzwerken wie ELLIS und Claire vorantreiben. Gerade für den Standort Aachen bietet die räumliche Nähe zu den Niederlanden und Belgien hervorragende Voraussetzungen für Kooperationen im KI-Sektor. Sehr geehrter Herr Professor Hoos, ich danke Ihnen sehr herzlich, dass Sie dieses gemeinsame Potenzial für uns alle heben wollen. Meine Damen und Herren, die Forschungsförderung ist ein wesentlicher Motor um Entwicklungen voranzutreiben. Aber gerade beim Thema KI sind auch Kommunikation und Dialog für die weitere Entwicklung zentral. Sie entscheiden darüber, ob Ängste und Vorbehalte abgebaut oder verhindert werden können und ob Akzeptanz und Vertrauen in die neuen Technologien entsteht. Deshalb sind Formate wie die KI-Woche hier in Aachen ganz wichtig. Sie fördern das Verständnis für KI in der Öffentlichkeit und bringen den wissenschaftlichen Nachwuchs mit Spitzenforscherinnen und Spitzenforschern im KI-Bereich zusammen. Ich bedanke mich sehr herzlich bei allen Organisatoren der KI-Woche und wünsche uns allen viele Anregungen, Impulse und Gelegenheiten zum, zum Gespräch. Vielen herzlichen Dank. Herzlichen Dank, Frau Staatssekretärin Türkeli Denert. Nunmehr wollen wir schauen, ob die Dame des Hauses, Frau Oberbürgermeisterin Sibylle Keupen, der Stadt Aachen bei uns im Raum ist. Ich habe sie auf ihrem Platz jetzt gerade nicht gesehen. Wir hoffen, dass ihr nichts dazwischen gekommen ist, denn sie wäre eigentlich jetzt an der Reihe. Schauen wir mal. Aha. Da scheint es eine klitzekleine Verzögerung zu geben. Das ist aber nicht weiter schlimm, denn immerhin ist ja KI auch was Reaktives. Nicht nur was, was man voll durchplant und dann abspult wie aus der Konserve, sondern da muss man auch schon mal umplanen können. Und das werden wir jetzt mal alle zusammen ähm, versuchen. Ähm, let me switch to English for just a moment. Um, and then when Frau Kolpin joins us, we will switch back to German for a bit and say that perhaps now is the best time to tell you a little more about the AI Center at RWTH Aachen University. And for this purpose, we have prepared a short video for you. Please enjoy. has a technology moved humanity as much as artificial intelligence has in recent months. And rarely have so many people looked so intently at one place, to the former imperial city of Aachen, which attracts visitors from all over the world with its historic city center. A total of 42 queens and kings were crowned at Aachen Cathedral, the first UNESCO World Heritage Site in Germany. The RWTH campus is located on an axis from the historical center to Campus Malatin. An extraordinary 138 different nationalities are represented here across different programs and research activities. AI is the future. It's the future of science, the key to better engineering, and it will transform society. Here at RWTH Aachen University, we have some of the best AI expertise in the country and indeed in Europe. And we have a firm commitment to leverage that to make AI more dependable, safer, and sustainable. A commitment to human-centric AI, which is AI that doesn't aim to replace human intelligence, but to augment it. Over the past few years, we've seen tremendous progress in AI. In particular, in the areas of deep learning, computer vision, and language technologies, things are now becoming possible that we would only dream about 15 years ago. 
within the AI center, we're pushing ahead this progress through our own research. In parallel, we are educating the next generations of students in how to use those novel technologies. To have an impact in the world, we need strong links between core AI research and domains like engineering, medicine and economics. Those links we have here in Aachen and the AI Center further strengthens them. On the other hand, we need AI that is safe and dependable, which is a core research focus here in Aachen. For example, with my team at the Chair for Data Science and Mechanical Engineering, we develop AI algorithms that allow robots, vehicles and other physical machines to learn from data while being safe, that combine engineering expertise with data, and that make use of available resources in an economic way. The Institute for Automatic Control investigates the modeling and control of dynamic systems. This enables the automation of a wide range of applications, for example, navigation in complex neurosurgery, autonomous ferries that cross the Rhine, or robots that help with physiotherapy. AI is for us an integral part of new control algorithms. We embody these algorithms into physical systems to support people. To achieve that, we combine knowledge of physical laws with real-world data. This allows systems to learn and continuously adapt to new conditions. Machine learning techniques are also used to represent, analyze, and automatically improve real-life processes. This approach is called process mining. Process mining makes it possible to extract unique insights from event data and use these to improve processes. This is relevant for all industries ranging from finance to healthcare. This is the reason that there are dozens of companies based on our research. AI will change our world and researchers from Aachen are helping to shape this development. It is important to critically reflect on this progress, but the potential of AI to improve our lives and society is enormous. AI will continue to permeate our everyday lives. AI is thus also an important strategic topic for the RWTH. It shows very clearly what the RWTH stands for, Knowledge Impact Networks. We want to generate relevant knowledge and thus create an impact for society. I see the RWTH in an excellent position when it comes to shaping the future of all of us with AI. To this end, we have specifically bundled our strengths and created a network with which we can generate the greatest possible output. Nunmehr ist es mir eine Freude, hier auf der Bühne die Oberbürgermeisterin der Stadt Aachen, Frau Sibylle Keupen, zu begrüßen. Sehr geehrte Frau Oberbürgermeisterin, wir sind sehr dankbar für die Unterstützung der KI-Woche seitens der Stadt Aachen und wir freuen uns besonders, dass unsere Eröffnungsfeier hier im Krönungsstahl stattfinden kann. Wir freuen uns weiterhin, dass Sie sich persönlich Zeit nehmen konnten, daran teilzunehmen und jetzt gleich zu uns sprechen werden. Willkommen. Ja, sehr gerne begrüße ich Sie hier im Namen der Stadt Aachen als Oberbürgermeisterin in unserem Wohnzimmer, das Wohnzimmer der Stadt Aachen, in unserem wunderschönen Rathaus. Und ich freue mich sehr, dass wir heute eine sehr zukunftsträchtige, innovative Technologie hier im Rathaus präsentieren dürfen und ich jetzt auch zu Ihnen sprechen möchte. Ich spare mir die Begrüßungen im Detail, begrüße alle herzlich unsere Gäste aus dem Ministerium, aus der RWTH, aus der Politik, aus dem europäischen Ausland, aus unserem liebsten Nachbarland, den Niederlanden. Und aus den Niederlanden, und jetzt habe ich natürlich auch noch vergessen, ähm, aus dem europäischen Ausland, ähm, Europa ist uns hier immer herzlichst willkommen. Das ist ein Saal, der Europa atmet, aber auch in die Welt hinaus atmet. Von daher sind alle Gäste außerordentlich herzlich an dieser Stelle begrüßt. 
Und es ist mir eine große Freude, mit Ihnen gemeinsam den Auftakt einer spannenden Woche voller Innovation und Zukunftsvisionen zu feiern. Denn Aachen hat sich schon immer als eine Stadt des Fortschritts und der Kreativität ausgezeichnet. Karl der Große hat hier vieles entwickelt und die RWTH mit ihrer Exzellenzstrategie kommt dieser Tradition in exzellenter, außerordentlich brillanter Weise nach. Und heute sind wir zusammengekommen, um die unglaublichen Möglichkeiten der künstlichen Intelligenz zu erkunden. Und in dem kleinen Film konnten wir schon einige Appetithappen sehen, was hier alles möglich ist. Laut dem Artificial Intelligence Intelligence Index Report 2023 können nur 50 Prozent der Deutschen erklären, was künstliche Intelligenz genau ist. Diese Zahl fand ich sehr überraschend dafür, dass wir ständig gefühlt über künstliche Intelligenz sprechen. Gleichzeitig belegt Deutschland weltweit den dritten Platz im Bereich Artificial Intelligence Skill Penetration. Das bedeutet, dass KI in den verschiedenen Berufen hierzulande 1,72 Mal häufiger eingesetzt wird als im Durchschnitt aller anderen Nationen. Das kann sich sehen lassen. Es ist also offensichtlich, dass KI zwar in der allgemeinen Debatte sehr verbreitet ist, aber dennoch wir darüber sprechen müssen. Und von daher ist es hervorragend, dass diese Woche KI in ihren Dimensionen und Anwendungsfeldern hier in Aachen eindrücklich zeigen wird. Und ich hoffe, dass der ein oder die andere Bürgerin und der Bürger davon auch einen Mehrwert erfahren wird und Teil davon sein kann. Denn wir werden erfahren, wie KI in der Medizin Leben retten kann, wie unsere Städte intelligenter und umweltfreundlicher gestaltet werden können und wie KI uns in Bildung und Arbeitsleben unterstützt. Dabei dürfen wir allerdings nicht vergessen, dass die Entwicklung und die Anwendung von KI auch Verantwortung mit sich bringt. Als Oberbürgermeisterin möchte ich deshalb betonen, wie wichtig die ethische und die moralische Verfestigung und Diskussion rund um KI ist. Denn das wird uns letztlich helfen, KI auch den Menschen näher zu bringen und die anderen 50 Prozent der Menschen zu gewinnen, die noch nicht genau wissen, was KI ist und ihnen deutlich machen, welchen Nutzen diese neue Technologie für uns Menschen bringt. Die Vorträge in dieser Woche richten sich nicht nur an die Wissenschaft und an die Forschung, besonders natürlich aus unserer renommierten RWTH, sondern sie zeigen auch die Vernetzung von Forscher- und Forscherinnengemeinschaften und stärken deren Innovationskraft. Darüber hinaus werden sie Vorträge über die Industrie und die Kooperation zwischen Wissenschaft und Industrie hören. Hier sehen wir ein hervorragendes Beispiel dafür, wie wir Industrie und Wissenschaft zum Nutzen der Menschen in unserer Gesellschaft einsetzen können. Ausgewählte Labore der RWTH werden ihre Türenöffnung und hochmoderne Forschungsarbeit zeigen und in den Diskurs stellen. Ich lade Sie ganz herzlich ein. Genießen Sie unsere wunderbare Stadt. Genießen Sie und spüren Sie die Intelligenz unserer Hochschule. Kommen Sie ins Vernetzen, tauschen Sie sich aus, bringen Sie Innovation in schnelle Entwicklung und nehmen Sie viel mit, was Sie aus dieser Woche der KI lernen können, damit KI für unsere Zukunft ein Assistent wird und wir weiterhin Regisseure und Regisseurinnen unserer Herausforderungen und unserer Zukunft bleiben. Ich danke Ihnen für Ihre Aufmerksamkeit. Besten Dank, Frau Oberbürgermeisterin Keupen. Next, we are thrilled to give the floor to Thomas Neubert, who is calling in live from Silicon Valley, where the day has just begun. Thomas, it's great to have you join us from the other side of the globe, from the place many see as the hotbed of the AI revolution. The floor is yours. Okay. Einen schönen guten Abend in den Krönungssaal nach Aachen. 
und äh, viele Grüße aus dem Silicon Valley, Kalifornien. Ich bin der Thomas Neubert, äh, Native German, born and raised in Lippstadt, Paderborn, aus dem schönen Nordrhein-Westfalen. Well, living now in Silicon Valley for 32 years. I am the founder of the Transatlantic AI Exchange and in short, Tyx, and until recently worked at Intel's headquarter for the last six years around topics of artificial intelligence. And in my last role, I was the general manager for AI acceleration and uh, senior director strategic business in our incubation and uh, innovation group. So for two and a half years now at Tyx, we have been building the most viable transatlantic network of AI experts to accelerate the exchange of knowledge uh, between the US and uh, European experts to accelerate the buildup of an AI ecosystem. We work with the European Commission and the European Innovation Fund, uh, research institutions like the DFKI in Saarbrücken, the universities like Stanford, Berkeley, MIT here in the United States. We work with startups, we work with incubators, we work with investors and leading corporations. All our online and hybrid sessions are recorded and available to watch for free for everybody. Ultimately, I want to connect research institutions and research projects with founders and corporations to exist with their scale, strategy, uh, commercialization, but also the go-to-market efforts. Uh, RWT Hagen University is globally known for its excellence in science and engineering and has a huge impact on the German startup ecosystem. The AI Center at RWT Aachen is one of the strongest in Germany. And I'm excited to work closely with Professor Holger Hus and other leading minds from NRW to widen the visibility and the increase of the reach into the US uh, ecosystem. Uh, AI is expected to have a transformative impact uh, on all sectors of the economy. For me, the specific focus of AI research at RWTH on safe and dependable and sustainable AI is particularly attractive and uh, promising. So we already had a joint webinar on quantum computing and trustworthy AI developed with KI. Nordrhein-Westfalen and in close partnership with uh, NRW Global Business, the DigiHub, and again, KI. Nordrhein-Westfalen, we actually combined our hybrid uh, European AI Summit with a digital demo day conference in Düsseldorf just last um, August. So due to the very positive outcome, we are already committed and looking forward to working much, much closer in uh, 2024 with Nordrhein-Westfalen and the RWTH Aachen. On a more personal note, in, uh, in this very room, dem Krönungssaal, uh, I gave a similar speech in 1998. And I don't want to age myself right now, but at the time we have been using a state-of-the-art video conferencing hardware card using ISDN. Well, Einige von euch kennen sich vielleicht noch aus mit uh, Dial-Up, uh, einige vielleicht nicht mehr. But uh, when I was the general manager at Aachen, uh, of an Aachen-based company called Elsa, it was a startup company that actually came out of uh, RWTH Aachen. And it's just an example how fast technology is progressing. So if I show this just for a second, this is an ISDN-based a uh, video conferencing card manufactured, designed, commercialized by a startup company out of RWTH Aachen 25, 30 years ago. Today, I use this from anywhere in the world with 4K video conferencing using Zoom or whatever. My point is that the same will happen with artificial intelligence. So with that, you know, controversial comment, I would say, vielen Dank für Ihre Aufmerksamkeit. Und ich wünsche Ihnen allen noch einen wunderschönen Abend. Dankeschön. Thank you very much, Thomas. 
Last but not least, in this first Bye -bye. part of tonight's event, we are delighted to have received a message from one of the globally leading figures in artificial intelligence, Professor Sebastian Trun from Stanford University. Hello, my name is Professor Sebastian Trun, and I'm calling you straight here from beautiful, sunny San Francisco, California. Let me cut with the chase. AI is the single biggest thing happening in our lifetimes. It's the biggest transformation ever seen. In the last 12 months, we've seen a whirlwind of new innovations, GPT, large language models, BART, and with it, many surprises of what these models are able to do or produce. This is going to affect every one of us in a positive way, the same way the steam engine has affected every one of us in a positive way. I see the advance of AI in two categories. Number one, human efficiency, and second, personalization. Efficiency is much written about. Lawyers, doctors, taxi drivers, accountants, call center agents will all be 10 times as effective in what they do, and as a result, can take 10 times as many patients or clients. That is truly exciting. But even more important is personalization. Today, we live in a world where companies produce products of one size fits all that all of us have to be able to comply with. Like the car we buy is made for hundreds of thousands of people the same way. There's very little space for customization. In the future, all products will be individualized. The news you're gonna read is not gonna be news for everybody, but news just for you, for your understanding, for the time you have at hand. The car you're gonna buy is made for your family and your family only. Every product will be customized. And as a result, we have much more consumer choice we live in a much richer world with much, much better products. That, to me, is the promise of AI. Why am I telling you this? Because this is the moment, the moment not to left, be left behind. Aachen has always been at the forefront of technology, and specifically AI. It has some of the best professors in the world in this field. And with its neighbors in the Netherlands and Belgium, it can really start an initiative to put Germany on the map of leading AI research. Why am I telling you this? Well, AI is a global phenomenon. It's a global technology. And it's your choice to be on top of it or be left behind and be under the tsunami of AI. Germany is the fourth biggest economy in the world. I'd say it's the strongest country in the world when it comes to top-notch education, including here at Aachen. Why would Germany not want to lead this revolution positively and be part of it, drive innovation, bring new benefits to customers of all sorts, and be responsible at the same time as we all want to be. It's my great pleasure to give this very brief address to everybody in Aachen. Aachen is very close to me. As you know, I won the Engineer's Prize a while back. I love Aachen. I think you have an amazing opportunity, and I wish you all the best. Stay positive, stay constructive, and get into AI 110%. Well, if we don't believe him on this, who do we believe? This concludes the first part of tonight's program. Before we continue to what, for me personally, is the most exciting part to come, there will be a brief interlude. I hope you will find it as intriguing as I do.
Good evening. My name is uh, Will van der Aalst. I'm one of the directors uh, of the AI Center. And today we have uh, two surprises. So I, I do the first surprise. Uh, Sebastian will do the, uh, the other surprise, uh, surprise at the end. So as I said, we have some exciting news uh, to share. In a few minutes, Eindhoven University uh, of Technology, the Catholic Universiteit Leuven and RWTH Aachen will sign a partnership to join forces and accelerate the research in artificial intelligence. You can already see the table here where the event is going to happen. Uh, so on a personal note, I lived 50 years within six kilometers of the Belgian border. I was for 30 years at Eindhoven University of Technology, and I'm now for five years at RWTH here in Aachen. And for me, given these experiences, it is crystal clear that there are great opportunities for such a cross-border collaboration. Actually, if you connect the three locations, so Eindhoven, Aachen and Leuven, you get an almost perfect triangle with approximately 90 kilometers between each of the three uh, points. So all of these three universities have exceptionally strong AI centers. We have the Eindhoven Artificial Intelligence Systems Institute, the Leuven Institute for Artificial Intelligence, and the RWTH Center for Artificial Intelligence. As AI centers, we have partly overlapping competencies. For example, in my own area of expertise, process mining, there are globally leading research groups at all three universities. However, there are also areas where we have complementing strengths, so it makes a lot of sense to work together. Therefore, we are thrilled to announce a trilateral collaboration between the AI centers in Eindhoven, Leuven and Aachen. The partnership will enable us to share events such as colloquia, workshops, PSD meetings. It will help us to acquire joint research projects and intensify research collaboration. We also plan to share courses and infrastructure and facilitate staff and student exchanges. AI is increasingly important and strongly affecting our lives and economy. Therefore, we need to take a leading role and apply AI in a responsible manner. Before we are going to sign the agreement, let's take a look at the two other AI centers in Eindhoven and Leuven. stands for the Eindhoven AI Systems Institute and out of the many focus areas that you can imagine and application areas for AI we picked some that are close to our specialism and also close to the specialism of the region here and the companies here and that is health, mobility and high-tech systems. That's what we focus on. The enormous power and potential of AI also has a negative side and some ethical concerns, so we really need to build in responsible AI from the beginning onwards, and that's why we fly it. The university is organized in nine different faculties, so in all these different departments there are hundreds of people, even almost thousands of people working on AI, and we make sure that this community knows each other, finds each other, etc., to, to actually strengthen the research among them. We as an institute support them with uh, high-performance computing, for instance, for, with all kinds of labs, the digital twin lab, but also support them in writing proposals and also to increase the chance of a proposal being granted. From organizing external funding, we also have a bit of funding ourselves uh, that can be used to support visiting professors or other research projects or starting grants. So, if you are a company or you're a researcher or even a student and you have a very good idea around AI and you think we can help and quite sure we can help them, please contact us so that we can make a next step in this very important development around AI.
it's great to see all the things that are happening in these three uh, centers. But now it's time for the formal part. I would like to welcome on stage the three rectors of Eindhoven University of Technology, uh, Katholieke Universiteit Leuven and RWTH Aachen University. So these are Professor uh, Sylvia Leenaerts, uh, Professor Luc Sels and Professor Ulrich Rödiger. Please come to the stage. So before we sign, each of the three rectors will give a short uh, uh, a speech. And I will first give the word to the rector who also has today his birthday. So uh, let's give him a welcome. Surprise, surprise, yes. So dear Secretary of State Tukeli Denert, Dear Lord Mayor Koypen, dear Professor Seltz and dear Professor Lennart, it's also my great pleasure not only welcoming our best friends from the Netherlands, I would like to welcome also our friends from Belgium. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Dear colleagues, dear ladies and gentlemen, as we have heard before, AI is a topic of immense, of immense importance for our future, the future of science, engineering, society, and also uh, the future of economy, economics. I'm therefore delighted that today the collaboration and cooperation between three of Europe's leading universities, Leuven, Eindhoven, and Aachen, and specifically between their internationally leading AI centers will enter the next level. By signing, by signing the Memorandum of Understanding here in this remarkable historic Aachen City Hall, as did others before, <laughs> we will join forces to strengthen AI research. This event marks a significant milestone. It signifies a shared vision and commitment to working together within our region across three borders. At the heart of the European Union, we intend to make even more impactful contributions than those our three universities could achieve individually. Together, we can contribute to the guarantee of Europe's technological sovereignty in the field of AI. As rector of RWTH, I'm honored to witness this moment and to be part of the journey towards greater collaboration and innovation. And I'm confident that the signing of this memorandum of understanding will pave the way for a fruitful partnership and knowledge exchange and will serve as a catalyst as a catalyst for future endeavors. Thanks a lot. Dear partners, as you might know, I have only very recently started the job of Rector Magnificus of Eindhoven University of Technology. I'm genuinely happy that already in my first months I have the honor to sign the cooperation between our three universities in the field of AI. Being born and raised in the midst of the eindhoven leuven aachen triangle, but closest to Eindhoven, having studied in Leuven and having worked for a German company, I have a personal and profound enthusiasm for the immense potential of the cooperation between our three universities. TU Eindhoven has a strong legacy in AI research, for example, by humble professor Will van der Raalst. <laughs> Five years ago, our university made the strategic decision to elevate our aspirations in the field of AI even further, leading to the inception of the Eindhoven AI Systems Institute. As AI evolved from its traditional data-centric approach to a more integrated human data machine paradigm, we recognized that AI was entering our domain one that specializes in system engineering. We are machine builders, which is a competence our three universities share. 
However, we are acutely aware of the substantial power and responsibility that accompanies AI's capabilities. To harness the best of AI and prevent potential risks, we must pool our competencies and resources. There's a well-known saying that emphasizes the value of having good neighbors over distant friends. Yet it's even more advantageous to combine both qualities and cherish our close friendships. Especially in these times when the world increasingly relies on our expertise. Let us collectively endeavor to enhance the field of AI, making it safer and more beneficial for all. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, um, a lot has been said already and Kai Leuven has been introduced already through the video you, uh, uh, you saw in the, just a, minute, a few minutes ago, so I can be relatively concise. Let me first of all emphasize that the investment in the broad area of artificial intelligence is today a top priority at Kai Leuven. And the establishment of the Leuven AI Institute is testament to that commitment. But let's not forget that it is not only about research, but also about the education of future generations. So I hope that we can use this strong collaboration between the three universities to also, let's say, move into a strong participation in a joint delivery of top education at the PhD level, the advanced master level, master and maybe even some modules at bachelor's level. A second comment, we treat and approach artificial intelligence in Leuven as a field in itself, of course, but there's also a huge need for advancement in other disciplines that increasingly become dependent on AI-related expertise. Uh, we have a large university hospital in uh, our legal uh, entity, Kai Leuven, um, a large academic hospital that is now evolving towards new approaches to personalized medicine, and AI is a, an enormous um, contributor to the, in that movement, so expertise in that domain is becoming crucial. So I hope that we can also use the collaboration for bench learning and to better understand how we can provide AI expertise to all the fields that we have in our universities. And the third short comment, maybe a distinction between RWTH and TU Eindhoven on the one hand and KU Leuven on the other hand, is that we are a fully comprehensive university and that is also to be recognized within the composition of the Leuven AI Institute. And the expertise ranges from ethics and law to the vast realm of the biomedical sciences and I hope that that can give us some complementary value also in this strong collaboration. Let me conclude by maybe um, resonating my, my hope that this first initiative of deep collaboration, and this is not a real first initiative, there is already a lot of collaboration between three universities that, uh, especially in AI, have their expertise rooted in engineering sciences. Yeah. But I hope that this collaboration, this first step, can lead to next steps, next developments, because we have three strengths in common. That's first of all, quality and excellence in education and research. Second, the geographical proximity, which is oh so important if you want to make mobility a reality. And third, the fact that each of the three institutions is positioned in a different country. One region, um, proximity is then a strength that can lead to interregional internationalization and that really could, let's say, bring us to clustering funds from each of the three countries to make this really one of the strongest hubs, regional hubs in AI in the future. Thank you for being here. Thank you for putting your trust in our, in us and uh, looking forward to the collaboration. Thank you. So I brought uh, three copies of the agreement. I brought a pen, I hope, yes. 
And uh, we have a very special table. This is a table where, uh, let's say, uh, European treaties has been signed. And it's a great honor that we can use this uh, location and this table for this special event. And uh, let's start with the signing process. So. So we have heard already some words of the mayor of Aachen, but also the, the mayors of Eindhoven and Leuven also want to congratulate us. So let's first uh, take a, a look at their uh, messages before we make a photograph. Here in Brainport Eindhoven, we know that AI matters. In fact, it's determines our lives of companies, of our inhabitants. So we're very much in the eye of the storm of AI here in Brainport Eindhoven. And it's good to have some regional friends in Europe who also see this big development around AI. So let's come together, let's join our efforts, let's join our knowledge in Europe. Together we make AI work. Hello to you all, my name is Mohamed Ridwani, I'm the mayor of the city of Leuven and I would like to warmly congratulate all of you on the collaborative efforts that you put in place to work together around artificial intelligence. I really believe that um, Eindhoven, Aachen and Leuven, the three knowledge pearls as we call them in Europe, are so well fit to work together to make the groundbreaking innovations happen that we need today and in the future when it comes to artificial intelligence and, for example, healthcare, education, etc. I wish you all the success, all the best, and I hope to see you in the near future here in Leuven or in Aachen or in Eindhoven. Bye-bye and all the best. So this ends uh, this part of the ceremony. Uh, I would like to thank on behalf of the, the directors of the three eye centers, uh, let's say the universities and the rectors for their continued uh, support. Uh, and I'm looking forward to an exciting lead week filled with AI stuff.
Vielen Dank an die Helfer. Meine Damen und Herren, auch ich heiße Sie ganz herzlich willkommen. Mein Name ist Julia Mann und ich bin die Geschäftsführerin des RWTH AI Centers. Ich hoffe, Sie haben die Feier bis jetzt genossen und nicht zuletzt ähm, wegen den lustigen Übersetzungen hier, falls Sie es gemerkt haben. <lacht> ähm, wir neigen uns langsam dem Ende zu, aber wie schon anfangs erwähnt, ist die Eröffnungszeremonie eigentlich nur der Auftakt der KI-Woche und wir haben noch mehr für Sie. Morgen widmen sich alles dem Thema KI in der Lehre und der Arbeitswelt mit spannenden Vorträgen und Diskussionen und sogar einem Programmierworkshop für unsere nächste Generation. Am Mittwoch und Donnerstag werden die KI-Experten ihre Spitzenforschung präsentieren und über die Zukunft der künstlichen Intelligenz in Deutschland, der EU und darüber hinaus diskutieren. Und den Abschluss der Woche bildet der Familientag am Freitag. Doch lassen Sie sich nicht von dem Wort Familie beirren, denn hier wird für jeden was dabei sein. Es wird KI zum Erleben, Verstehen und sogar zum Anfassen geben. Auch in den Kinos wird es Filme zum Thema künstliche Intelligenz geben. Dabei werden unsere Experten sie zum Thema hinführen und darüber diskutieren, wie realistisch die Darstellung der künstlichen Intelligenz in den Filmen ist. Schauen Sie sich gerne das gesamte Programm auf unserer Webseite an. Wir würden uns sehr freuen, Sie im Laufe dieser spannenden Woche wiederzusehen. Zum Schluss möchten wir uns ganz herzlich bei unseren Sponsoren bedanken und natürlich bei den beiden Künstlern Alfred Neuwald und Tom Breuer, die Karl den Kleinen zu uns gebracht haben und zum Leben erweckt haben. Vielen Dank. Honored guests, I'm Sebastian Trimpe, Professor for Data Science and Mechanical Engineering here at RWTH. This has been an exciting evening and it is uh, now my honor of bringing tonight's opening of AI Week to a close. But we actually still owe you something. In our invitation, we promised a big surprise at the end of today's event. Um, and this is actually still waiting for you. Or As I should say, this is still waiting for all of us, because we are also very much looking forward to this. Yet, before we get to this final act, I would like to thank a few people. People without whom this event could not have happened. First and foremost, these are Julia Mann and Madi Rupé. Julia is the Managing Director of um, the AI Center and has been here on stage just before. Um, Madi, I don't actually see her right now, but I'm ex very sure. Oh, she's over there in the back, making sure that everything uh, runs smoothly. Julia and Madi have been working tirelessly uh, on the many details of this event for close to one year, um, and especially over the last few weeks and days leading up to today's opening event. Madi and Julia, We are extremely grateful to you. So please, everyone, join me in thanking those two for their tireless work in preparing and rerunning this event as well as the rest of AI Week. <laughs> and there are many more people working behind the scenes to make AI Week possible. You might have seen um, some people in light blue shirts. I see some of them over there, also some, some more in the back. Uh, and there will be many more during this week. These are our fantastic volunteers, many of them students at RWTH. And there is many more members of RWTH on all levels who are working behind the scenes to make these events possible. Let's give all of them a big round of applause.
last but not least, I would like to thank all who contributed to making this evening a success. In particular, I would like to thank Ms. Tukeli Denot, Secretary of State at the Ministry of Culture and Science at the State North rhine westphalia Ms. Koypen, the Lord Mayor of the City of Aachen, Mr. Neubert from Transatlantic AI Exchange, and our three rectors. Professor Sylvia Lennertz from TU Eindhoven, Professor Luc Selz from KU Leuven, and Professor Ulrich Rüdiger from RWTH Aachen. Thank you for being with us tonight and for your wonderful contributions. And also, we are truly grateful to everyone who sent us a video message, as well as to the artists whose, work, whose works have enriched our program. These are Alfred Neuwald, Tom Breuer, Jeroen van der Moost, and Anna Chocholi. And of course, I should not forget, we are extremely thankful to Karl de Kleine, who has been with us here tonight in Coronation Hall. Let's give all of them another big round of applause. And now, we are actually reaching the final part of the opening ceremony of AI Week. What kind of final act could be appropriate for this opening and uh, for our esteemed guests? One might think that fireworks could be appropriate for, to close such a festivity. And this might well be the case um, for many other events, but this is AI Week. Instead of burning explosives, we will present you something that is more environmentally friendly and we think at least as exciting and much more fitting to the scheme of this week. It is our great pleasure to present to you, right after my speech and actually outside on the Katschhof, an autonomous drone light show. The show was developed and will be presented by the company Lunatics. And we now invite all of you to join us outside on the Katschhof to watch this one-of-a-kind uh, air and light show. Wir bedanken uns bei allen Ihnen, dass Sie heute unsere Gäste waren. Bitte begleiten Sie uns nun nach draußen auf den Katschhof zum krönenden Abschluss dieser Veranstaltung, einer Drohnenlichtshow, wie sie Aachen noch nie zuvor gesehen hat. Vielen Dank und bis gleich auf dem Katschhof. Applaus